for the honor and the privilege of being called the children of God. We thank you for our salvation. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life in exchange for our condemnation and our sin and nailed it to the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We sing hallelujah. We thank you for the resurrected Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the finished work yes, of the cross. For you bore all our pains and all our sorrows. And yes, you took away the condemnation that was due unto us. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We pray for our brothers and our sisters all over the world, particularly those who are in this household of faith. We thank you for each and every one of us, O oh Lord my God, that you are doing a work in our lives, each and every one of us, individually, as families, as the church, we thank you for a new thing that you are doing. Oh Lord, we ask that you renew us, that you regenerate us, you strengthen us, that you bring us to a place of understanding, you bring us up to a place of understanding who you are and to have a greater relationship with you. Lord, we thank you. We pray for the ministry of praise, the ministry of the word of God. Father, we pray for those who are coming. We pray for those who are watching, those who are listening, that a word will touch and penetrate their hearts to make them new, to make them whole. Oh Lord, that they will come to a point of reckoning because today is the day of salvation and we do not have any understanding of what will happen tomorrow. We only have to account for ourselves now, Father Lord. Help us to make that decision. And if you are watching, this is your day. This is your day to make that decision. This is your day to say yes to Jesus. This is your day to say, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready for you to change me from the inside out, to touch my heart, to transform me, to take away all those things that are confusing me. Father, we pray against the spirit of depression. We pray against the spirit of oppression over the lives of those who are listening. And we say they are set free today. They are set free against all those arguments that are coming against them in their minds against receiving Jesus today. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this service that it will be a, an extraordinary and a supernatural time where we come to the realization of who we are in you so that we can walk in the power of your anointing. Oh Lord, that we will be a church of fire. We will be a church of power. We will be a church that is making a dent in the kingdom of darkness and snatching the lives that have been held for too long. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the power that you have deposited in us through the Holy Spirit. We give you all praise. We pray for our bishop, the ministers, and all those who will be gathered here. Those here physically and those remotely. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We're reading from the book of Psalms 138 this morning. I'm reading from the King James Version. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. Thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. 
In the day when I cried, thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of my mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endured forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Brothers and sisters, can we repeat that verse 8? It's a prayer and a declaration. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, church. Welcome to our Sunday morning service. Let's just declare that the Lord is good this morning. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. let's get excited. Let's sing it out. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Let's sing it out, people. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you.
Let's sing it again. Lord, you are. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure and forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure and forever. People. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Give him hallelujah. Because our hallelujah belongs to him. Let's sing it out. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to
Lord God, you deserve it all. Yes, Lord. Let's sing it out because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Let's sing it out again. Because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are,
voice says, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign in victory, Jehovah Shalom, my Prince of Peace, you're my Prince of Peace, and I worship you. Because of who you are. One last time, let's sing that chorus one more time. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign in victory. Jehovah.
Take us into the new. Thank you, Lord. All the glory, all the honor. It belongs to you. Say, come like a rushing wind, come, come like a fire, come, say, come, come like a fire.
last time you say you deserve. to you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, to you be all adoration. We just say thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you, thank you that this God And we are saying to you, be all the glory. 
To you be all the order. To you be all adoration. We just say thank you. And we are just saying thank you. Thank you for the healing taking place this yes, morning. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your ministration this morning. Thank you for your touch this morning. Lord, thank you for the deliverances this morning. Lord, we are just saying thank you. Thank you for the restoration you have brought this morning. We are just saying thank you. You deserve all the glory. And you deserve all the honor. Thank you, Papa. Be exalted. Be glorified. Father, thank you. And thank you that you are our Father. And we say, Abba, Father. Indeed, you are our God. And we say, Abba, Father. Indeed, you are King of glory. And we say, Abba, Father. Be exalted. Be glorified. That which you have done this morning is permanent. We speak it forth and we say it is permanent. Lord, that which you have done in our bodies is permanent. Lord divine, we say thank you. Be exalted, Papa. In Jesus' name we have declared. Amen. Let's go on for our communion. In this attitude of worship, in the presence of the Lord, just go on and take the elements that you use to join us in communion. Go on and take whatever you use to join us. And for those of us here, hold those elements in reverence unto God. He deserves all the glory. Jesus Christ finished it and said, it is finished. As you hold those elements, just know that it is the body of Jesus Christ broken for you. It is the blood of Jesus Christ already shed, not yet to be shed, already shed. Jesus Christ said it by himself, it is finished. He finished it and it is finished. Just choose to believe. Just choose to believe. Stop concentrating on the pains. Stop concentrating on it. Concentrate on Jesus Christ, the Lord that deserves all the glory. The Lord that will never fail. The Lord that will never share his glory with any other thing or any other person. Just choose to believe him and start prophesying to your body to line up to his word. He deserves all the glory. It is not the medication that will do it. It's not the surgery. Just believe this, my God. His body is broken that our body will not be broken. His blood is shed that we stand authoritatively. Jesus Christ washed us with his own blood. And he made us kings and priests unto God the Father. Stand authoritatively as a king and declare it. You are the healed. You possess your healing. And you will not die. You will live. You are not going to bury anybody. And nobody is coming to bury you. He deserves all the glory. Give him all the glory and declare it. It is finished. Jesus said it is finished. That settles it. It is finished. Choose to believe him. Choose to agree with him. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. He deserves all the glory and all the honor. He finished it. He is not a liar. Let all men be liars, but God remained true. Instead of a jot of his word to go unfulfilled, heaven and earth will pass away. He is God all by himself. Stand up as you hold those elements and let's make the confession of faith together, including those of you at home. Join us and let's make this confession together. I call this bread before you, Lord, as a reminder of your body, which was broken for us. 
I thank you for bearing all of my diseases and pain. I number myself among the healed. My body is the tabernacle of God, not the cause of disease. As I eat this bread in faith, I remember you. And by your suffering, I am healed today. Let's partake. hold the cup. Let's make the confession together. I hold this cup of wine before you, Lord, as a reminder of your blood, which was shed for me. Thank you for paying the price for all my sins. You bore my guilt and shame. I now have dignity. I number myself among the righteous. I am redeemed. As I drink this cup in faith, I remember you by your blood. I am clean today. Let's partake. Let's raise up our hands in thanksgiving unto God. Thank you, Jesus. I do remember you. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you that I am in fellowship with you. Thank you that I am one with my brothers and sisters. Thank you for your life that is in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you. Your life is in us and we celebrate and we say thank you over and over and over. We believe you. We choose to agree with you. Your life is in us. And I, I don't want you to panic. Just believe what you have said. The life of God is in you. Cancer will not kill you. Father, we thank you. Your life is in us, Lord, and therefore we walk in health. We believe it and we declare it. Heavenly Father, your life is in us, and there is no growth, no tumor, no fibroid in us. Your life is in us, Lord. We declare it. We uphold one another, Lord, and we say your life is in us. We are not dying. Your life is in us. We are walking in health. Father, we thank you. No migraine, no migraine headaches so will destroy our bodies. Yes. Your life is in us and no diabetes will destroy us. Your life is in us. We believe it and we declare it. Your life is in us. Father, we thank you. We bless you that it is done. In Jesus' name we have declared, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your life is in us, Lord. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. For ye are the inheritance of the Lord. Amen. Amen. As you prepare your tithe and offering, hallelujah, let's stay in the attitude of worship because this is a part of worship. Hallelujah. And as you are preparing, be reminded that you can speak to your offering. Send it on Aaron. Speak and prophesy over your offering. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are ready. Please stand. Hallelujah. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus. Let's lift up our Let's begin. Heavenly Father, we profess this day unto you that you have come into the inheritance which you swore to our fathers. We are in the land which you have provided for us in Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God that is ours. We were sinners serving Satan. He was our God. But we called upon the name of Jesus. And you heard our cry and delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of your dear son. Jesus, as our Lord and high priest, 
we bring the first fruits of our income to you, that you may worship the Lord our God in peace. Father, we rejoice in all of the good which you have given to us in our household. We have heard your voice and have done according to all that you have commanded us. Now, Father, as you look down from your holy habitation in heaven to bless us as you said in your word, we believe that we now receive those blessings according to your word. This is our confession of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. While the ushers are collecting the offering, a few announcements. Hallelujah. The annual resurrection summit, the gathering of nations, the three days to the audience of one. This begins April 7th through the 9th, 2023. It'll take place here in the Garden Sanctuary, Friday, April the 7th at 6 p.m. Saturday, April the 8th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Sunday will be your regular services, April 9th, that will be from 8.15 service as well as the 11 o'clock service. Please endeavor to come out to our annual resurrection summit. Amen. Amen. Also, in April will be our seven days of prayer and without ceasing. This is April 23rd through the 29th at 7 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. Prayer, praying without ceasing. Let's endeavor to be a part of the seven days of prayer, praying without ceasing. Believing God for all that we have committed to him, the mission, the families, our nation, our children. Let's come out and be a part of the seven days of praying without ceasing. Let's not stop praying. Amen? Amen. May God be the glory. Shalom, everyone. Real, really, really quick. I shared with Bishop uh, a real quick story about how I used to uh, select songs to minister. And it was a very cumbersome process. And uh, I don't do that anymore. So the process that I go through now is just simply go to him and ask him, what do you want me to do? <laughs> That's not where it used to be. And he said, give him my word. Give him my word. So that's what uh, I'm going to minister to you this morning. His word. Bless his holy name. which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He said he would not suffer no foot, but foot to be moved. Lord, that he slumbers nor sleep 
know what happened just now. Only some of you know what happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If only you know what happened. Hallelujah. I know. Lord, we just say thank you. That your word is real. <laughs> you said the just shall live by faith. Lord, we thank you that we can call on you and you answered us. And you show us great and mighty things which we know it not. Ah, Holy Spirit, exalt Jesus. Exalt him alone. Ah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Exalt him in this place. Exalt him in our lives individually collectively as the body of Christ. Oh, Daddy, you are awesome. You are so good. You are so good. You are so good. We confide earnestly that your gifts will operate, Holy Spirit, especially the working of miracles, the gifts of healing. We are thanking you. You are touching bodies. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We say thank you for the working of miracles in our homes. Lord, we thank you for the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, discerning our spirit, prophetic utterance. We just say thank you. Hallelujah be unto your name. You are worthy. We vow to give you all the praise and all the glory. Hallelujah. Your bodies are being touched right now. So just receive it. You don't, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for anyone to touch you. Just receive it. I want everyone to stand, everyone to stand. Now go ahead and hold somebody around you. Hold your hand. Hold your hand because there's a touch. There's a touch right now. Just one person at a time. One person. One person. One person. One person. Just one person. Just hold one person. Hold them. Look, look, at, look at their face. I want you to look at them. Look at them. Hold them. Hold them. Turn around. Look at them. Those of you watching from around the world, just one person, please, let's be obedient to the instruction. Only one person. Hold one person. Hold one person. Look them in the eyes. Hold one person. Look them in the eyes. Hallelujah. 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 Now release, release the power of the Holy Ghost. Just tell them receive, 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 receive. Receive the healing power of God flowing right now. Just receive, just receive, just receive. Receive, receive, receive the anointing of the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive, receive. In Yeshua's name, it is done, it is done. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. It is done. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, Lord. Testimonies. 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 Get ready. Get ready for testimonies. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for testimonies. We say it's done. We say it's done in Jesus' name. It's done. It is done in Yeshua's name. Everyone shout amen. Shout amen. Amen. Okay, now. You can go to your seats now. Hallelujah. You can go back to your seats. Everyone, you may be seated. You may be seated. The water is trouble for good. Amen. Okay, I, I, I have some few things before I get into the scripture to share with you. Now, 
How many of you enjoy the worship this morning? Okay. Okay, let me tell you what I need you to do. I need you to start praying for the Resurrection Summit. Okay. On Friday, April the 7th, I want to take time to say this because I want every one of you to come with someone. Today, when we were worshiping the Lord, there was really an earthquake here. I know I, I'm not the only one that saw it. You, you felt it, baby. It was, you felt it too? You felt it too. It was quaking. Literally. Okay? Now, but I want you, this is just tantalizing to what is about to take place in this. I thank God for Reverend Chinilla, but I tell you, I didn't want it to stop. I mean, I just felt that way. On April the 7th, Friday, 6 o'clock, we're going to start. Be here. Now, on Saturday, we're going to start 9 o'clock to 4 p.m., and it's going to be global, diversified worship all throughout. We are going to have American Indians are going to be here. Jewish, the Kli Ladonais are going to be here from San Diego. And we're going to have the, 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 the African flavors. We're going to have the Egyptian, Arab world, and then we're going to have uh, Pastor Neka, the Igbo styles. And then we're going to have the con contemporary. We're going to have the gospel styles. It's going to be Dynamite! Yeah. From 9 in the morning till 4 p.m. How many of you want to just bathe in the worship, the anointing of the power of the Holy Ghost? How many of you are willing to be here with me from 9 to 4 p.m.? And you are going to be loose to prophesy over that keyboard yeah. and that piano. And you too you know, over, over that guitar. Where is, where is um, uh, all my worship team? Are they over there? Okay, I was looking. And you, of course, you're going to be prophesying over that drums. And I'll be listening. Mm-hmm. Where is uh, Patty? Somebody go look for Patty. Go call. Michael, go call him. I want every, please make sure every praise and worship team, I don't want anyone worshiping and leaving. Okay, when you guys, please make sure. Okay. I want every one of you to get ready to be here for those three days. It's going to be worship, worship, worship all through. And begin to pray and ask the Lord to just minister to you even the languages that you don't understand. Okay, the Holy Ghost will interpret them as we worship. And you will understand them. Hmm? Amen? Hallelujah. Are you excited? So take time off. And those of you that are traveling, I, I don't know what to tell you. All is well. You will enjoy as well. Just get ready. Shut your, your doors in your room while you turn on. I'm talking to someone that's going to be in Texas. But the rest of you that's not traveling, be here. Yeah. Amen. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, turn your Bibles with me to Isaiah 19. Mm, 
we began teaching on the altar to the Lord in our midst. Put on your seatbelts, it's going to get hotter today. Uh-huh. And the worship team helped me also. They helped to get the air all ready. The altar to the Lord in our midst. That's the title. We're going to read Isaiah 19, 19 through 25. In that day, how many of you know we are in that day? In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. And by the way, we're going to Egypt this year, July. Mm -hmm. In the land of Egypt. And a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Every word there means something. Verse 20. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors. And he shall send them a savior and a great one. And he shall deliver them. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt. And the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. And shall do sacrifice and oblation. Yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and perform it. Mm. I want to go back before I go on to verse 23. I want to go back to that verse 19 that says in that day. We already explained all this last time. We are in that day, right? Now it says um, there shall be an altar to the Lord in the midst. Okay, that's our title. Now, I go back to that um, Isaiah 19, verse 19. I want you to underline altar to the Lord. Altar to the Lord. Okay? In the midst. Now, I want to... Read from Psalm 68, 31, and I will read NIV. Envoys will come from Egypt. Cush will submit herself to God. Cush, okay? Another translation says it as Ethiopia. The truth of the matter is, it's all Africa, period, okay? It's all Africa, okay? Envoys will come from Egypt, Cush, their brothers, okay? Egypt, Cush will submit herself to God. So you may say this way, envoys will come from Africa, okay? <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Now... Very, very, very important. Stay with me. You need to understand that part. Now, let's go down to verse 23. In that day, there will be a highway. Now, rather than saying Egypt, I want you to just look at it now as what? Africa. Because I explained that earlier. Okay, so in that day, there will be a highway from Africa to where? Assyria. And where's Assyria? I told you that last time, last week. Where's Assyria? Who remembers? Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Syria, all of them, right? Okay, so just in include all of them. Now, so it starts from where? Highway starts from where? And it goes through all those things we named. And then he says what? Let's go to the uh, B part of it. It says, and the Egyptians, the Egyptians are what? 
Africa. And who else? Assyrians, we just named them. They will now do what? Worship together. Somebody should be happy. If you got this divine revelation, you should be happy. Okay, now it's not over. Go to verse 24. In that day, what happens? Israel will join us. We will all be one. Okay? Along with the Africa and the Assyrians. And then we will be a blessing, blessing to who? The whole, the whole world. Woo! Are you happy? You're part of us. You're Africa too. Are you not? I now verse twenty-five. The Lord Almighty will bless them, saying, "Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be, Africa, my people, Assyria, my handiwork, and then." Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Did you guys get that? What just happened to you is that revelation knowledge has. I say revelation knowledge has. For the end time. For where we are. Did you guys get that? Well, I want to show you something else. Mm -mm. Isaiah 11, 11 and 12. In that day, I want to show you confirmations. Out of the mouth of two, it shall be established. Okay, Isaiah 11, 11 and 12. In that day, where is that day? Now, in that day, the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the surviving remnant of his people from where? Assyria and from low Africa. He got it from Kush. So skip all those things. They are all Africa, right? <laughs> Did you guys get that? Yes. Now go to verse 12. <laughs> he will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. Hmm? He will assemble the scattered people of Judah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He will bring all of them everywhere. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Again, we see the three. We see the three. The Africa, the Assyria, and then the Israel. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Okay. Now, so let's review what we had last time. So the highway will come from Africa to connect to all the Assyria, Iraq, Iran, Syrians, Kuwait, Turkey, all those. Mm -hmm. And then Israel shall be the third with every one of them. And then the Lord will bless and we will now bless the, the nations, the rest of the nations. Okay. So why do we really care about this prophetic word? But by the way, this is prophetic word. It hasn't happened. So why do we care? If we're not supposed to care, we should not be receiving this revelation knowledge that we have now received. It shouldn't be so clear. How many of you believe this is so clear right now? Just wave your hand. Well, the reason is because you and I are part of it. Because you and I should care. Or oh, don't you feel so special? Well, so God gave prophet Isaiah the prophetic word. Hmm? He gave him the prophetic word to use him to tame and protect the season. Listen, 
God is never a God of confusion. When prophecy is made about people, about land, about season, he sensitizes and nudges the people concerned so to fulfill the purpose. Did somebody get that? Yes. When you're getting it right now in your seat, you better be writing it down because when you leave this place, there are contaminating spirits out there. You need to write it down as you're getting it. Okay, hear me, because I'm going to share a whole lot of things. I was telling Reverend Chinella, I was in there sleeping. I haven't slept since yesterday. I've been up. I mean, okay. Prophecies and revelation knowledge with understanding help us to interpret the end from the beginning. Prophecies, revelation knowledge, and understanding give directions to where and what a specific divine activities or projects are supposed to be and what they are meant to accomplish. So we can't ignore this prophetic word that has now become rema to us. The Holy Spirit in us will work with us to prophesy and to fulfill prophecies. Okay, I'll give you some examples. I think about the nation of Israel that is physically manifested today. We're not guessing. We've been there several times. It's now here. Well, now hear me. There was a time it wasn't. How many of you know that? There was a time it wasn't physically manifested. Okay. I was listening to the Prime Minister of Israel not too long ago. Some of you probably saw this on television. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, f just a few months ago. When he was being interviewed by a Christian television channel, he traced back to how Israel is today a fulfillment of the prophetic word from the Bible. Okay? His own father that was staying in America for many years received the revelation, knew the time has come for Israel to be restored. And you know what he did? He began to lobby in White House. Netanyahu's father. This is, he, he received the revelation that the time, just like Jeremiah prophesied, but Daniel got the time, he is the one to work it. It's not everyone that gives the prophetic word, also implements. No, 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 no. Actually, 99.99%, the people that prophesy are different that from the people that really make it happen. Okay? And so here comes Nehahu's father. He was in New York, and he was lobbying around back and forth, every, all the different political people, pushing them to restore Israel. How many of you knew that story? Okay. So God gave him the revelation knowledge and he was restless and he pushed and pushed and pushed. And here today, 1948, Israel was restored. Somebody receives the revelation knowledge you do something about it. Is somebody hearing me? So today we have the physical nation of Israel in a physical location. Now, today, Prime Minister of Israel and those that also work with him, 
they also know that Jerusalem is supposed to be the capital, and that is period, by the prophetic word. How many of you know that there has been a time when that was not the case? And even till now, there are people still fighting to divide it. And that's where Netanyahu comes in, because he will fight on it. I'm serious. I'm, he, I'm sharing something with you. When God gives you revelation knowledge about a prophetic word in the scripture that has not yet come to pass, that means that he is trusting you. All this is because men and women are taking time to receive revelation knowledge and understanding of times, and that's why certain things have not yet happened. You remember when I shared not too long ago, I said, how many of you are believing Jesus Christ to return? Are you sure how much yet to return? How many of you are believing him to return? Okay. Soon. How many of you know that... Um, <laughs> I'm about to say something here. How many of you know that it's not him that is delaying his return? Mm? How many of you know that he wants to return? So who is supposed to make sure that he returns? Us! 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 Now, in the scripture, we, let's go to Matthew 27. I want to show you something. Go to Matthew 27. We are going to read 32 through 35. Join me. Matthew 27. And as they came out, this is uh, on the way to the cross. Jesus on the way to the cross. Okay? He was carrying the cross. And as they came out, they found a man of Syrian, Simon by name. Him they compelled. Underline that word compelled. Very, very important. So he didn't volunteer. Everything in the scripture has a reason. Mm? It may be meant for bad, but God always turns it around for. This man was minding his business, but they call him and volu I didn't say, do you mind volu No, 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 no. They forced him. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. They compelled him to bear his cross. So he had to carry the cross of Jesus. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say a place of skull. Okay, very, 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 very prophetic. Write it down. Write it down next to the word skull, prophetic. And then write down where you see the man, Syrian, Simon, prophetic. Verse 34. They gave him vinegar and to drink, mingle with gall, I mean gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, all those that are prophetic, casting lots uh, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. Hmm? They parted my garments among them and upon my vesture they cast lost. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention to that man called Simon and also the place called Golgotha. And I will read from NIV just verse 32. As they were going out, they met a man from Siren named Simon and they forced him to carry the cross. They forced him to carry the cross. And John, by the way, three out of the four Gospels, 
talked about this man. John 19, verse 17. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which is in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Okay. Now, this man called Simon, by the way, is an African. Okay? And I'll show you. Uh, Mark chapter 15, 21. Then they compelled a certain man, Simon, a Cyrenian, the father of Alexander and Rufus, as he was coming out of the country and passing by to bear his cross. Take time. Everything I'm telling you, take time. Go back and you can do the research. It's all, it's all there. So Simon Cyrene is mentioned in three of the four Gospels as the man compelled by the Roman soldiers to carry Jesus' cross out of Jerusalem. His place of origin is that he was a black African descent, and he came from Libya, which is northern part of the African continent. Remember what I said to you, it's not a coincidence. Hmm? The man was minding his business and they forced him because he has to line up with her. Remember, we began with the Isaiah 19. Ah, three people, three specific nations. Okay? Very specific. And I want to pause and say this. I don't care where you came from. Everything about you is tied into your destiny. It doesn't matter whether you don't like your people, you don't like how they do things, you don't, it doesn't matter. Just know that where you came from is tied into your destiny. Very important. Now, so um, Cyrene, Cyrene was situated in Libya northern part of uh, African continent. Now, Syria was the capital of the Roman district at the time of Jesus' crucifixion. And um, in that city, they had a large number of Jews. Okay? So now, I want to throw this out to you. Do you believe that everything we have talked about so far about Simon is all divine and very prophetic, or do you think it's just a coincidence? It's very, very prophetic. So now we want to go back and see the black man was called upon by the leading of the Holy Spirit to carry the cross. Mm-hmm. He was called to carry the cross. I personally believe there's a setup here, yes. and I like it. So going back to the prophecy about the highway that we read from Isaiah 19, the prophecy is also for specific people, specific geographical location, specific season. There are people and there are places that are set apart for sacred altar. This cannot be built by just anybody or everybody. It cannot be built everywhere. It cannot be built every season. I want you to know that the greatest populous black race in the entire world is in Africa and it's in Nigeria. Hear me. Nigeria, although it is in the western part of African continent, the geographical location is eastern hemisphere on the earth. Eastern Hemisphere. 
And by the way, you can Google and you find all these things I'm telling you today. You can get, go back to website and Facebook and play this over and over and check it out. Now, what about, what does Eastern Hemisphere of the Earth have to do with a fan? I'll show you. Go to Genesis 2. Put on your seat. I told you it's going to get hot. Didn't I? I promise you. Genesis 2, verse 8. I want to get to the place where everyone in this church, you are no longer praying for, God, give me, give me, give me. My name is Jimmy. Because there, are, there there's, we have so much to, to start working now. Huh? You can only sleep in one house at any given time. Drive only one car. Actually, get to the place that once the car is working good, just don't care about who made it and all that stuff. Just, just, just say, car, get me there. Huh? You can drive one car. <laughs> How are you, baby? <laughs> and you can only sleep in one bed. Once the bed is comfortable, that's all you need. And the mattress is comfortable. And you can wear one shoe. And I, I am not the place right now. I just want a comfortable shoe. I don't care what label. Hmm? Because that's work to do. Okay. Genesis 2.8. We're going to read the prophetic word of the Lord. Verse 8 says, The Lord God planted a garden where? In Eden. And there he put who? The man whom he had formed. Now drop to verse 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden, which is where? In the east. And told him, take care of this place. Ah. Uh, so the very first time that the Lord God created man, he brought him to where? East. So he created the eastern man in his image. Every location in the earth where the different people are is never by accident. You are meant to be where you are born. You are meant to be born where you are born. It's not a mistake. I know some of you may be thinking, well, because I did think the same way, what I'm about to tell you right now. I tell you, I've been awake all day yesterday. And I know you'll be thinking, what about after the flood? Noah now was the one. Yeah, you're right. But then there was a time that God had to spread everybody, right? And why? So that the prophecy will still be achieved. Mm -hmm. Now, in the eyes of many around the world, Their eyes of understanding, if it's not yet illuminated, because the real you and I are spirit, right? And God is spirit. So we have to discern by the spirit. Now, I want you to go to Mark 10, 31. It says, but Jesus said, but many that are first shall be last. <laughs> And the last shall be first. Matthew 20, 16. Again said, so the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. For many be called, but few chosen. I'm here to say to you that this is a season of the greatness of the land of the rising of the sun. 
I know, uh, I know some of you would not understand that, but it's okay. Because I don't want to explain that right now for a reason. Now, also, 1 Corinthians 1, verses 27 and 28 says, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised had God chosen, yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Mm -hmm. Sounds like tongue twister, right? I pray the Lord will reveal to some of you here that need to know what I just did. Because there are things I'm, I'm not going to say specifically at this time. Now, this is that day and season of Isaiah chapter 19. Many nations are going through so much wars right now and so many famines in different parts of the world because the Eastern Hemisphere are yet to build the highway. How many of you got that? Raise your hand if you got that. Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. And it's all by God's grace and his power for that to be made manifest. You know why? Many destinies are tied to it. Many. Many. Romans 8, 18 and 19 says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. Who are those sons of God? And that constitutes of who? The three. Who are the three? Do you have that chills? Yes. So we should consider ourselves privileged. A divine opportunity. But individually, you need to find out your own assignment. That is the only way you will not be distracted. You'll be focused. Nobody will hurt you for you to just leave the church. Those things will no longer be in your calendar, dictionary, in your mind. Never. Because now you'll be focused. So first, I will ask each of you to go back, study the scriptures I just showed you, and rely on the Holy Spirit to guide you, to teach you, to grant you revelation, knowledge, insight, heavy duty understanding, and write it down. Find out where you fit in. Find out where you fit in. There's so much clarity now. Oh, my God. I said, Lord, you just, you, just, you just did a number on us. Now we are just going to Egypt with a different. I know you want to go. <laughs> I was thinking about you this early morning. <sighs> Find out your assignment. 
Because you will walk in your lane. There's so much that God is waiting for us to do. But his grace is sufficient. And the Holy Ghost is here. We are the carriers. Mm? Is somebody hearing me? He is relying on us. That's why he's saying we are co-laborers. You, you understand? I mean, it's so, and I, in, the, in the subsequent weeks, I'm going to be sharing more and more. The word of God that we speak, oh my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that's embodiment of God himself? Yeah. You don't want to miss any Sunday. Because I don't know how, how long it's going to take. It, it is so, and I want you to know this. It's a dishonor for us to come on this pulpit and be talking about devil, 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 really. Mm. Now I go, mm, no, 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 no. The enemy is the one that's scared of us. Mm. Really scared of us. You know, I, th I was thinking about how people like Daniel knew that he was the one to assure that the prophetic word came to pass. Jeremiah gave it, but Daniel knew that he was the one to make sure that it happened. I was thinking about Anna. So many prophets prophesied about Yeshua coming. I was thinking about Anna. How she knew that she was the one to make sure that Yeshua was born without Pharaoh or all these jargon folks wanted to kill him while he was in the womb. Do you know they could have killed Yeshua and our redemption will not be made manifest? But for someone that received understanding and here people in the body of Christ are thinking about the car to buy. Hey, Chukunna. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking about the houses competing with one another. Ooh, Father, help me. Mm. Mm. Boasting about their children. This person's, you know, the, my own child is collecting. You know. I remember when Mami Dahosa came before the church started. And she looked me in the eyes and said, how many more degrees do you want to collect? I, I never forgot that. Because it went through my heart. She said, how many more degrees are you about to collect? Actually, bless. Thank God for her. But you know who was defending me? Dr. Betty Price. I was going, oh, you know, but she's, she's working in the church. She... And then she turned around again. I'm asking you, so how many more degrees do you want to collect? Now I understand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask all of you, some of you that are collecting degrees like I did. Don't let that distract you to the call. The call is higher. And I believe in that I collected some degrees. Hmm? When I think about Anna, that was not even, her husband died after seven years of marriage. And she lived 80 something more years just to make sure that nobody killed Yeshua HaMashiach in the tummy of the mother. She could have had miscarriage with all the trouble she went through. Everybody seeing her, gossiping about her. She could have had miscarriage. But she made sure that nobody tampered with that baby. That was Anna. 
and they both did not know each other. Did you guys know that? But she knew her mission on earth. Worship team, you have your own cut out. You need to make sure that you are ministering in purity, great anointing, because it affects the air. Today I had to, and, and I have to say this today, I had to tell Dickiness uh, Chini to go around and tell the people to stand up when it was worship time. We need to be in one accord during worship. It's not the time to be pulling things from your purse and, and going around and, 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 and greeting people and, my God, please. It, things have changed. Hmm? I want to announce it from here so when I have the dickinesses going around to just help you to, you know, get into. If you are not able to stand, just believe God you are walking in wholeness. In the meantime, while you are sitting down, worship the Lord on your seat. Uh, worship the Lord. Don't look around who is coming and what shoe they have on and what. That's why I turn my face. No, no, this is real. No, 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 no. When people come here sick, they should be healed before they leave. We need to clear the air so that there will be open heaven visions. So you, you hear what God is saying through the drums, through the keyboard playing, through the prophetic word. And, and I, I want to, I thank God for all the workers, but please don't be the one trying to tell us we're going past the time by walking around, maybe doing something to let us know we have gone too far. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. The Holy Ghost knows me where I am. And he has, him, he has, he knows I, I haven't missed it. We're going to 27 years. He knows how to talk to me. So don't, don't, you know, you're not helping me. If I need to, if they are going two hours of worship, we don't, I don't, I don't need, that worship is part of the word. Yeah. If, I, if I feel led that, if I know it's, okay, I need to go, I will, I will tell her, you know, she will cut it. But uh, workers, don't, don't try to, okay, now we're going too far, too much. Don't do that. Don't do that. Things have changed. Don't do that. And I want to beg of you, don't plan to come after worship. I just want to hear the word. You are too much. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay, tell me to stop. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but you know, I have thought about so many people that receive the prophetic word and run with it. And they were not even full of the Holy Ghost 24-7. But that part that they received, they were able to know this is prophetic word, and I'm the one to implement it. And they ran with it. Matthew 8, 17. Let, let's read that, and then we're going to close. Matthew 8, 17 is another one of those prophetic words. I want to show you something. Because I don't want you to think... This is only for certain people to receive and then, but not you. No, no, every one of us. Every one of us. Now it says, and when Jesus, uh, verse 17 actually, this is when Jesus was, um, just every day he went around, but listen to the prophetic word, how he, it was pulled. It says, uh, verse 16, when evening had come, uh, Matthew 8, when evening had come, they brought to Jesus many who were demon-possessed, right? And he cast out the spirits with a word, with a word, a word, a word, a word. 
a word. Not 40 days fasting. A word. And healed all who were sick. Now stop right there. And it tells us the prophetic word that was the basis for Jesus doing this. Hmm? At this time, listen, he hasn't gone to the cross yet. It's telling us the prophetic word that is the basis how this was done. What was the prophetic word? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by who? Isaiah the prophet, what did Isaiah the prophet say? He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Where in Isaiah? Isaiah 53, 4 and 5, right? Did you see what happened? Somebody saw and read that and ran with it and believed it and saw the manifestation. Did you guys see that? That's what you and I should be doing. We should be doing it more than they did at that time. At that time, the Holy Ghost has not yet come. Yeshua HaMashiach has not yet paid the price for the new covenant. They say better covenant. But you and I have all that together. And many are just believing God when you hear the prayer. In Jesus' name, kill them, kill them, kill them. And give it to me, all that there is. That's the one. Amen. No, no, no. We should be saying, Amen, Lord. You open my eyes to see what I'm supposed to do to get more people born again so that I can empty hell and populate heaven, populate the kingdom of, actually, populate the kingdom of God. Because some will not see death. And how many of you believe we are part of it? Amen. Amen. Stand on your feet. And Father, we just say thank you. You have called us. You have chosen us. Mm, the altar to the Lord in our midst. <laughs> the highway. Mm. And so, Lord, we thank you. Oh, that we do not have the spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound and disciplined disciplined mind and so we are thanking you my god that you have brought understanding to us holy spirit we are saying use us empower us as never before mm. thank you daddy and reveal more and more and more and more to every individual under the sound of my voice. Oh, Lord, may every one of us go home so hungry to receive more and more from you. Let, let there be that hunger, that hunger, that hunger, that hunger, that hunger to receive more and more from you, oh Lord. This is my desire, that we will just be so quick to come, my God, to, 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 to just draw from you. Mm. May there be visions, open heaven. Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray in your heavenly language. May there be visions, open heaven. Ha la la sa la la sa la baka sanda masada baka ze ka baka jene jene jie me re ba ke ba ko ba ka da ba sie jene jene jie ke ku ku ba ka ada ya Lord I'm asking that you sensitize our ears let us hear clearly that which you want us to hear sensitize our eyes let us see that which you want us to see in the name of our Yeshua Hamashiach mm. Lord we just say thank you we say thank you we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. In Yeshua's name I pray. Listen carefully. And the Lord is saying, don't allow yourself to be contaminated. Mm -hmm. Don't allow yourself to be contaminated. Even by the things that you hear. 
even the things you hear. Guard your ears, says the Lord. Guard your ears. Guard every entrance to your heart. Just guard it. Guard it. Mm. Guard it. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you that you direct and just, just teach us, teach us, teach us what to do, how to do it, where to be, where to go. Mm, associations. Lord, I, just teach us by your spirit. Just teach us, teach us. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. And I pray even right now, my God, that every need is met in our homes. Amen. So that no one is going to be going around helter-skelter, running back and forth. No more, no more. Lord, every need met. Every need met. And we just pray, my God, everyone, our bodies, Lord, whole. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. My God, your anointing destroys yokes. We will not sorrow, no sickness, no disease in our midst. Father, we just say thank you for visions, for dreams. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Lord, direct our steps every day. Everywhere we go, we call forth many more men and women and boys and girls, especially in these three areas. Three, three nations, Lord, to come forth and be a part of this congregation right here. That together we'll be greater armies, Lord. Mm. Thanking you, Lord. I thank you for open doors in these nations. Open doors, open doors. Open doors, open doors. Ah. Eliakila kanda majine jine jikere beke se koko baya. Aniye na makarasada baka jeke. We will go, we will go, we will go. Open doors, open doors. Open doors in Turkey. Open doors, my God, in Syria. Open doors, open doors, open doors in Kuwait. Open doors, open doors in Egypt. Open doors, my God, in Libya. Open doors, open doors. Ela makajine jine jine jiba kozokoko. Aniyana makazaye. Ela makajine jine jiba kozokoko. The entire Assyria open doors, open doors. Eliye, 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 kore bakasa. Jine ya, jine ya, jine ya, jine ya, kara bakasai keke. Ela leke makasanda majine jine jiba kukuba ya kada. Hallelujah be unto your name. Lord, we just say thank you. We say it is done. We say it is done. We say it is done. Put your right hand on your forehead. Lord, I pray, my God, oh, for understanding. I pray, oh, my God, ah, revelation knowledge upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray, my God, even that which Yeshua HaMashiach did, Ah, he stepped on the head oh, of the serpent. So we have a sound mind. We have the mind of Christ. I said we have the mind of Christ. We will not forget anything. Ah, we have our memories intact. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Put your hand on your forehead. Pray in the Holy Ghost. No forgetfulness. No memory loss. No memory loss. No memory loss. We have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Discipline mind. Discipline mind. Discipline mind. Put your right hand on your chest. No heart failures. No heart attacks. Eliye makazanda majine jine jekore bakazaike. Eliya kaka bahandama. Where's Beatrice? Somebody call Beatrice for me. Ah, namashie kiekere. Call Beatrice. Beatrice, come here. Come here. Everyone that has any heart issue, come. Hallelujah. Revenge, no, please bring her. Hallelujah. Aniye karabakan. If you had any, any heart challenges, come on out here. Any heart issue. Come on out, come on out, come on out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reverend Chinello, there's someone here. Yeah. Um, Dickiness, hold someone. There's another person you have a heart challenge. 
Just come on now, come on now. That's one more person. Come on, come on, come on. Minister Lois, she understands English. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come over here, baby. Okay. One person each. Reverend Chinella, help me with that, Beatrice. Okay, uh, stay right here. Okay. Uh, brothers, Brother Charles, come on over here. You can come on over here and come on over here. I need, I need, I need one minister per one person. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, he can join with uh, uh, Brother Charles. Later, yeah. Over here. There you go. There you go. Very good. Very good. We are fine. F I want you to help me, the ladies, with the ladies. Just put your hand on them, on your chest, on the chest. Yes. On the chest, sweetheart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Now put your hand on, on her hand. Yeah, put your hand on her hand. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put put your hand, uh, Beatrice. Beatrice, put your hand on. Yeah, there you go. Father, I pray for right now. Uh, uh, Baruchi, yeah, th there you go. Father, I pray right now as we lay our hands, you say lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And we use your prophetic word, my God, that indeed as these hands are being laid upon every one of them, Lord, that they recover. I come against every heart problem. Satan, get your hands off these. You are defeated. You have no authority over their lives. Get your hand off them. Now, 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 now. Get your hand off them. In the name of our Yeshua HaMashiach. Get your hand off them. In the name, in the name above all names. Be healed. Be healed. Receive it now, receive it now, 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 receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. You are made whole, receive it. Receive it, you are made whole. You are made whole. Father, we just say thank you. It is done in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. The Lord is good. And all the time. I said, the Lord is good, and all the time, before you go home, I'll give you a confession that you'll be making every day. Reverend Chinilla, please help me. The I testify. Let's just get that and give it to them. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Raise your right hand towards heaven. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord remain gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace now even forevermore. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. OCN, Word of God to the World.